All right, my friends, thank you for joining me once again. This is the first video I've made since I have completely taken my beard off. And so I want to remark upon all the re different reactions I have gotten from people uh, since I have done so, since I've gone clean shaven. Now this is not clean shaven, but this is about three or four days worth of growth on my head and on my face. Um, it's just something I like to do whenever I've been clean shaven. I'll go for about a week without doing anything because I like the look. Uh, but um, yeah, I want to I talk about how people responded to me. And it's been nothing less than interesting entirely i mean entirely unexpected and when i say that what i mean is the normal reactions i get when i do something like this has been totally turned on its head uh, i i did not see this coming whatsoever so i think you're going to find this interesting and i don't say any of this for my own benefit i'm i'm telling you because i could keep this to myself but i'm telling you guys all of this because i want you to know what you might be in for, what you might be in for. Everybody's different if you decide to take a big step in a different direction with your facial features, especially where hair is concerned. I mean, what else have we got, right? But anyway, anyway, so, so, um, you know, when you, when you grow a beard out, it's a social experiment, whether you're conscious of it or not, whether you want to involve yourself in that way or not, you are conducting a social experiment. You're gonna find out things about people and about yourself that you didn't know. I'm a firm believer, along with other beardsmen, that every man should grow a year out at least once in his life. Um, and, and when you do, you're, you're gonna discover some things. It's, it's just so bizarre, you know? Uh, when people are so used to seeing you one way and then you decide to mix it up a little bit, you're going to get a reaction. And uh, yeah, yeah. So here's, here's, here's the lowdown on the hoedown. All right. So I, I, I grew my beard out to a year length. Now, the reason I put it that way is because I already had a beard that was about three months worth of growth. So, you know, I added, I added about another nine months to that and that would have given me a year. And I, and I knew what I was doing. I knew, I knew my, my measurements were accurate because I've done this for so long. So I got to uh, July 1st and uh, my, my beard was prodigious. I mean, yeah, it was, it was the biggest beard I think I've had. And so I knew, I knew when I took that, that sucker off that uh, it was going to be kind of a big deal. Now, now if you think that I do it just for attention, um, well, to some degree, yes. Uh, it was mainly for YouTube, okay? And people say, oh, you just did it for views and for clicks. Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. Yeah, it's because it's, but it's fun to do. You have to understand, it's been something I've been thinking about for years. And it's just, it's just an experiment that's fun to conduct. And so, yeah, I did it for YouTube, but I also did it for me. You know, that, that there is, it's multifactorial. You know, I, I did do it because, well, I, I, I do like change, but I thought it'd be fun for you guys to see what would happen. And so, yes, I did do it for YouTube, but I also did it for me. And um, because change is just part of my MO. It really is. And you guys should know that by now because I've made plenty of tutorials on how to trim your beard at different lengths. I do that for you and I do it for me. But um, let me get on to... Let me get on to what, um, on, on to the reactions I received from people. So, I, I shaved it off that morning. You saw it in the video, I'm sure. If you haven't, go back and watch it. I shaved it off that morning. Nobody saw it. And I went to work. And I really thought, you know, I hope that, uh, I hope I don't have to go into the office for a while. Because I want my face to, to, to tan up. I want the tan to catch up to the rest of my face where I had a beard. And it's something I felt very self-conscious about because it was just <laughs> the difference. You could see the line of demarcation where I trimmed my cheek line and it's just, to me, it looked ridiculous. And it, it, it still hasn't caught up. I'm really surprised it has not caught up. But um, I really, I thought, man, I hope I don't have to get called into the office for anything. Lo and behold, they called an impromptu meeting late in the afternoon. 
And uh, I was like, oh man, this is not what I wanted. Because while I do this to some degree for, on YouTube for attention, I don't really want the attention outside of that, okay? Because it's awkward. With you guys, I don't see you in person. You, you understand? So it's like, well, whatever. It's, de it's detached, you see? I mean, I, I, I do want a closeness between my viewers and I, but there is a difference, okay? So I don't really want the attention outside of, of YouTube. It just feels awkward. Um, even though I know it's going to happen. So I go into the office and as soon as I open the door, um, I heard somebody go, stranger danger. And uh, my, one of my bosses was sitting next to him and he told me later on, he goes, I didn't even recognize you when you, when you walked up. And I was like, well, I try, to, I try to act casual about it. You know, I try to act like, um, yeah, well, yeah, well, whatever. He's like, are you having a midlife crisis? <laughs> No, I'm not having any, I don't know, maybe I am, but it's not because, this is not because of that, but uh, no, that's not what it is. I've been planning this for a while. And so I got, you know, it's funny because different guys I've known for years walk into the office and they're just chatting with me, they act like they don't even notice, they're chatting, chatting, and all of a sudden they stop and they go, I knew something was different, you shaved your beard off. Well, yeah, yeah, ob obviously. So, uh, it, it's just funny because it took, I mean, it just, it wasn't clicking for people right away. And, and for some people, and then one of the guys, one of the guys at work, uh, he didn't, he's never seen me without a beard. Some of the others had, he had never seen me without a beard. He comes out and I don't know, I don't know what he was thinking. And he was talking and all of a sudden he stopped in his tracks and he, he, he looked mad. He looked mad at me. I mean, he's all in good humor, kind of that kind of mad, but, uh, yeah, he, he was just really blown away by that. And he, he was, he told me I, something like, I, you know, I shouldn't have shaved off and this doesn't look right. <laughs> this doesn't look right on you. And uh, so I had fun with that. That was, that was interesting. And they still tell me when I go into the office, they're not used, they're not used to this right here. So heck, I'm not used to it. I, it's, I'm still trying to adjust myself. So I came home that day. And then I walk into my bedroom. My wife is laying on the bed looking at something on her laptop. And um, she doesn't have her reading glasses on. She kind of looks up at me and squints. Then she grabs her reading glasses or some kind of glasses, whatever it wears she wears. And she puts them on. And she's like, I, I think she says, like, when did you do, or not when did you do that? She obviously knew I did it that day. But I don't know. She made some remark. And she goes, that's jolting. That's jolting. And uh, <laughs> I, I thought that was a funny word to use. But uh, I thought that accurately described I me. Mean, you couldn't, that it leaves nothing to the imagination. And so when I had entertained the idea before of shaving my face, I had t when I talk talked to her about it, she told me, she said, well, don't shave it down all the way because you would just look weird. Uh, I mean, maybe she's right. I don't know. Maybe I do. I, the verdict is still out on that as far as I'm concerned. Because... Because I do have a little bit of, of hanging, like a little bit of a flap here. They don't, I, I am not keen to. I, I do not like that. I probably could stand to lose a few pounds. Maybe that would go away. But this is hanging lower than it used to. Right underneath the chin. And um, yeah, I, I'm not crazy about that. So uh, having a beard would hide that. Maybe losing some weight would too. But anyway... She told me that she actually likes this better than the big beard. She likes a short beard, but she likes this better than the big beard I had. And I can understand that. I can understand that. But she never really objected to anything I had. So, you know, kudos to her. So the next next reaction I would get was when I, went, I donate plasma twice a week at BioLife. And it's mostly, mostly women in their 20s and early 30s. And uh, I talk to them all the time because, well, they're there. They're, they're sticking you with the needle. They're checking to see if you're all right. They're asking how you're doing. And when the same people come in twice a week, year after year, they get to know you. And, um, you know, I, I, I go in there. And the first time I go in, you have this prelim preliminary process that you go through. You answer these questions on a computer to make sure everything's okay. Then they, then they stick your finger and test your blood and your plasma to make sure everything's copacetic. And, and, and so you can donate. And this one woman, this one woman who, she, she's like the only flirt 
there and, and not somebody I'm attracted to by any means whatsoever. And and she normally she will normally flirt, but when I went oh, I walked up to her desk for this to be done, she didn't act like she recognized me. She didn't say anything. She didn't even hardly look up. And um and so I thought, good. She she didn't recognize me. This is good. I don't really want anybody to actually recognize me. And um she didn't say anything. I walked away and I was like, oh thank thank God. I went back I went back and um, donated, and the only person that recognized me was one of the guys that worked there. And he, he took, he took like, I could see him taking a few minutes to try to recognize me. And like, oh, I just realized who you are. You looked like a totally different person. That was the only re reaction I got that day, and nobody else seemed to recognize me, and I was so thankful. The second time I went back was a different story, though. I got that same woman sticking my finger in the beginning, and she didn't look up, and I thought, oh, good, she doesn't recognize me. And then without lifting her head... She said to me, you look handsome now. You look better with your beard. You shouldn't have shaved it off. And I go, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, seriously? And here's the reason why I felt that way. Because historically, and I'm speaking from my own experience, women have always been very free to tell me they didn't like my big beard. Women don't even look at me with a big beard. I mean, it's very rare. It's, I, I can't say that entirely, but it's very rare that with a big beard, women don't look at me. Remember when I said, if I just wanted women to look at me, I would shave my face. That's not why I did this, by the way. But that's what I said, because that's, that's when I've always gotten the strongest reaction or po strongest positive reactions. And, um, and it's like, well, that's weird because that's not what women normally say. And she goes, yeah, I don't like, I don't like this without a beard. And she goes, I'm sad. And she meant it. And I, okay, well, whatever. So, so then I went back and some of the other girls started to recognize me and they're like, what? What? And these are girls in their twenties. Okay. These are, and I, and I say that because I had a lot of white in my beard. I figured I look like an old man, all right? And they're like, why did you, she, they were like, why did you shave it off? They were mad, they were legitimately mad, guys. That's yeah, weird. I'm like, you shouldn't have shaved it off. I'm like, what? Well, I, I don't even know what to say to this. <laughs> it's like, you never said anything about it before. I don't need you to, but it's like, the reaction is so strong, you would have thought that it was something that they must have been crazy about or something. I don't know. But but now, now they're deciding to tell me that I shouldn't have done it. I'm like, I, well, that's a, it's a little too late now. A little too late now. So anyway, I am just blown away. Because, because women typically hated it. At least most of the time I ever had a big beard, they always hated it. But this time around, what I'm finding out is that the majority of them liked it, never told me, and decided to let me know they don't like this versus the big beard. Go figure. Times have changed, apparently. Now, as far as men go, that has also very much surprised me. I really thought most of you guys would be upset with me for having shaved the beard off. And... Really, I haven't gotten that reaction at all. I have a, I've had a few guys tell me, yeah, you shouldn't have shaved the beard off. You need to grow it back. But I can tell they're, it, it's all in good humor. And it, you can tell it doesn't mean that, that much to them. But they're just telling you, hey, I thought you looked better with the beard. But I've had a good number of men tell me they like this look. I should keep it for a while. And that blew me away. And here's, here's another reason why it surprised me. When George Bruno, and a lot of you guys know who George Bruno is, when he shaved his beard off and went to a goatee, he said he lost 5,000 subscribers overnight. And I honestly expected something like that to occur, and it never did. In fact, my subscription rate continues to go up. Now, subscriptions aren't everything. It's just a, it's just a minor indicator. Views mean more. But I was, I was really surprised and pleased that you guys did not throw me in the trash can after I shaved this off. A lot of you guys told me you'll still watch my stuff anyway. So I am very, very much thankful to you guys for that. But I just wanted to let you know uh, that um, th uh, there, there, were, there, were, there were 
some women that actually liked this better, but uh, I, I would say the majority of them like the big beard better. So this is really good news for you guys. If you have a beard and you're being told uh, that, you know, uh, women may not like it, I, I think things are different now. Okay, and a lot of you guys have told me, oh, women love my beard. Well, all I can tell you is that from my own experience, um, they like the shorter beard, but they did not like the big beard. And they somehow changed their mind. Okay, so uh, I won't grow it back for that purpose, but I'm just telling you guys because I thought you might want to know. Um, you may get a different reaction. I don't know. I have no idea. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. And, um, you know, I, it was fun surprising my family. When, when, my, when my youngest son, who's getting ready to turn 18, when he's, <laughs> he was vacuuming the floor that night when I came home, and when he finally did look up, he just goes, he, he just looks up and he goes, wow, and goes back to vacuuming. That's it. <laughs> my daughter didn't even see my face until the next day. And she told my wife she didn't know if she liked it or not. <laughs> okay. So, you know, you, you, you find out all sorts of things. And here's the thing about this, guys, is that you get to find out, i got dust flying around me, you get to find out how you're going to respond. And the best thing to do is, is just to roll with it. I remember the first time I shaved my head, I got laughed at by the guys at work. I laughed with them. And I think the best thing to do is to roll with it. Don't let it affect you too much. But I'll tell you what, I was stymied. I was really bum-fuzzled. I love that word, bum-fuzzled. I was, I was, I was, I was uh, really, my stomach's growling. Hope you can't hear that. I was really uh, surprised so much by the reaction of women that I did actually react to it because it just, it was so contrary to anything I've ever experienced before. So that may be good news. For all of us beardmen, beardsmen. And I think here's, guys, I know there's a lot of you out there. I know there's a lot of you out there and you, you love to make the statement, I don't care what a woman thinks about my beard. I'd grow it for me. Well, bull crap. I mean, you, yeah, you do grow the beard for you. Don't get me wrong. But to sit here and say, you don't care what women think, shut up. You do too. Uh, you, if, there, if some woman who pushed the right buttons for you came along, you'd care what she thought. Yes, you would. You, you would, it would matter to you. Uh, chances are, if you're saying what you're saying, you, if you're saying you don't care what a woman thinks, chances are you have a woman in your life where uh, things are not right. And this is kind of your way of saying, you know, screw you or whoever, maybe you've gotten rejected so many times this is your way of making a statement. But I noticed those guys love to say stuff like that. They love to post those comments, but I think it's all bull crap. And, um, I, and, and the thing is, uh, you, can, you, can, uh, you can change it up as much as you want. You can do whatever you want with your beard, play around with it. It doesn't have to be for the opposite sex. It, it could just be w w something you wanna do, but um, I love the whole social experiment. I love the idea of finding out, um, you know, what different looks are going to look like on me. And I hope you guys play around with, you know, different ideas too. So anyway, I'm just giving you this to let you know, this might be what you're in for. Don't think you ever got it figured out. I thought I had my finger on the pulse, but I was wrong. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've gotten something out of it. I will be making a video on the pros and the cons of having a beard versus not having a beard. So be watching for that because I have all sorts of things running through my mind. So anyway, that's all I, that's all I have to remark on, I think. I hope I don't turn this video off and realize I should have said something else because I didn't write anything down. I'm just speaking off the cuff. But... Um, Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think and share with me some of the reactions that you have received whenever, you've, whenever you have uh, shifted your personal appearance, whether it be with your beard, uh, with your hair, or with your clothes, anything like that. So leave a comment. 
if you like this video, hit the like button. And um, yeah. All right. Stay tuned. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.